Spider-Man fan will get a visual treat before the movie starts. Courtney Dempsey's on the red carpet with your Hollywood headline this morning. Woo! I had to run down to the end of the red carpet to tell you about this. <laughs> it's been crazy, people. We've all probably seen 3D movies, but there is one that raises the bar on a whole extra dimensions craze. Species from the four corners of the universe live on board, pooling their knowledge and cultures. Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets promises to be a wild, twisty, visual sci-fi spectacle, but it's the film's opening scene that has people talking, so for a limited time, limited time, people, theaters across the country are going to screen that opening sequence ahead of Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh. So Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets opens on my birthday, July 21st. Oh. <laughs> July 21st you, had to get that in, you had to get that in there. <laughs> Gotta get this in too. Support for Jay Z's latest studio album, 44, uh, 444, has gone through the roof. Hove. The album has certified platinum by the RIAA less than six days after its limited release, all thanks to title streaming and sprint downloads. Now, Jay Z's label, Rock Nation, shared the news saying that all 13 of the rapper's studio albums have reached the platinum milestone, making him the only hip hop artist to ever do so. 444 contains lyrics addressing rumors of infidelity raised in Beyonce's visual album, Lemonade. So we'll get the other side of the story. Well, you won't find Rob Kardashian on Instagram anymore. He's been shut down. Oh. Shut it down! Whoa. <laughs> Social oh. media platform removed the reality star's account following a flurry of posts attacking his former fiance, Black China. Kardashian then brought his tirade to Twitter, accusing China of cheating on him. Earlier in the day, he posted a nude photo of China to social media, and she responded on Snapchat with a claim that Kardashian had beaten her. The couple announced their engagement last April and starred in a reality show about their relationship. They broke up a month later. So no doubt, we will see all of this played out at some point on E. You know that's gonna happen, you know. Ooh, that fine Daniel Day Kim <laughs> has broken his silence on his sudden exit from Hawaii Five-0. The actor took to Facebook this week and loosely referenced rumors of a pay equity dispute that led he and co-star Grace Park to leave the series. Now, the two were reportedly offered salary contracts that were 10 to 15 percent lower than what two other stars are paid. Kim said that the post in the post that he and the network were unable to agree on terms on a new contract. He also mentioned the struggle he faces when it comes to finding opportunities to play dynamic characters as an Asian American actor. To come here and tell you, put that in your head in the future. Yeah, and you got banana in your beard. <laughs> <laughs> and coming up at 7 a.m. Season 19 of the hit CBS series, Big Brother is finally a here, banana. friends. A banana. This time, there's a new <laughs> twist. There is banana in the beard. And be uh, sure to stick around, because host Julie Chen is going to join us live with how summer temptations are challenging the new house guests like never before. Again, that's coming up, 7 o'clock hour. And Cami Brown, a huge, oh, oh my gosh. huge Big Brother fan. Uh, has a couple of questions for Julie as well. Oh, as good. She recorded them. We might as well yeah. just play the tape and just sit back and do this. It's because seriously. She's, oh, she's, yeah. got, she's got this handled. And doesn't Curtis lot. Ming, I think Curtis Ming recorded oh, yeah. a couple of questions the too, Ming is from, in on it too. Oh, it's hilarious. Uh, from Cole Curtis over on Channel 4.